Jade. Oh, Jade, you looking fine. Come here. Oh, this is a dream, bro. Might as well get up. It is currently 2.49 p.m. Why I wake up at 2.49? I'm a loser. <laughs> That's the only explanation. I'm a loser. So today I'm going to take you guys with me throughout this whole day. Now, is this actually going to be a real day in the life for me? Um, no. I'm gonna be honest, if it was a real day in the life, uh, I would just spend this whole day sitting in this chair on that computer. But for the sake of this video, let's actually be a productive human being, alright? I do want to give you guys a room tour too, but, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek how dirty my room is. Don't act like I didn't warn you. Don't act like I didn't warn you, okay? Like, what is this, bro? What is this? There's a plastic bag on the ground. What am I doing? Bunch of dirty clothes. Like, this is ridiculous. And then look at my desk. Look at my- What is- Y'all looking at me like, damn, Mike, you living like this? What is this? I'm gonna clean my room and I'm gonna give you guys a, a room tour, okay? Alright, an hour later, I cleaned up everything for the most part. So this is where all of the videos are shot. The camera goes right here. Look at the angle. Does the angle look familiar? Uh, but I am sitting behind this desk literally like... 15 hours a day like, I pretty much live most of my life in this seat behind this desk like this is where I beat my meat This is my PC right here. Okay. Don't look at the wires. Okay. I know the wires are okay. Oh! Yeah, that's, that's, that's bad. And over here. Oh, it gets even worse. It gets even worse. What the fuck? Homie got the Xbox and the PlayStation on the ground. This is who you guys watch? This is you guys' as YouTuber? This is who you watch? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> and then right here is my shoe collection. I know, I know the shoes is low key kind of trash. Like, I've had these shoes since 2018. These are five year old shoes. But I mean, bro, I stay inside all day, anyways. Like, is there even a point in buying new shoes? I don't know. And then we got the little homies in the background of the videos. Yo, what's good, bro? You're not, you're not gonna dab me up. It's like that. On the other side, I got a bunch of cologne over here, bro. You gotta smell good for the ladies. Come on now. Like, bro, if you out here smelling crazy in front of the girls, oh no. I be hearing horror stories of people going into gaming events and it smells crazy. Invest in some cologne, bro. Stop buying a bunch of Fortnite skins. And then right here is where all the magic happens. Whenever I got a girl over, we chilling on here, man. If I got a girl coming over, I'm diving in like these. Hey! Sorry, did I scare you? My fault, my fault. And then here's a lamp. Why I decided to show that, I don't know. But for the room tour, that's about it, really. Like, you guys got some uh, background Mike Chulinski lore. Like, this is what it's like to live with me. I know it's not the craziest room in the world. Pretty simple. But you know, it gets the job done. It gets the job done. I mean, I can't complain, you know? Okay, so it is 4 o'clock, and I have yet to take a shower. So I'm gonna go take a shower, and then we'll pick up from there. Okay, I'm out of the shower. Is this really this hard? Look. Oh, wow, some deodorant. Oh, look at that. Fellow gamers, take some notes, please, bro. I'm trying to help you out. Y'all smelly gamers making us look bad, man. How many times am I gonna say it? I mean, now that we're here, rate my approach on a scale of one through 10. Say I'm trying to approach a girl, right? This time I'll be, excuse me, uh, what's your, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right, let me write it back, let me write it back. Oh, uh, I like your shoes. <laughs> Oh, I saw you cross the room and you were looking fine. Uh, can I get your number? Okay, never mind. Okay. Now, at this point in my day, I would be like editing a video, like right here. And this would probably take me seven, six hours to finish. Y'all don't want to see that. That's too boring. So, I'm going to speed it up for you guys, all right? <laughs> Now, I'm not gonna show you guys the editing process because it's pretty boring to be honest. I'm just sitting here for like seven hours straight. We gotta do something that's day in the life. Like, like my actual life is boring, so let's go do something that's interesting. I got a few things planned, nothing too crazy, but we're gonna have to go to the store to get some stuff. But before we go, I gotta show you guys my outfit. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the store. I 
right, we're at the store now. Um, we can't bring you this huge camera. We'll be back once we get everything, all right? All right, so now I'm back home on my setup. I got a bunch of random chips. Some of them are completely brand new to me. I've never had some of these before, so. I didn't say this earlier, but this is going to be a chip tier list. This tier list is 100% correct. If you disagree, let's fight about it. The first one I want to try is, what is this? It says voodoo on it. This is about to curse me? What is this? Okay. Okay. Got some good crunch to it. It's very salty, but all in all, pretty basic. Uh, I would give it like, I'll give it a B tier. I'll give it a low B tier. It's not bad. Not terrible. Next up we got is the Cheetos Cheddar Jalapeno. If you like these, you are actually disgusting. I got these just to hate on them, like genuinely. If you ever got the variety pack of chips, these was always the last ones to eat, bro. For my household, at least. Is there anyone that actually likes these chips? Let's see if my mind's changed at all. Hold on, let's taste it. Hold on. Yeah, these are not, these are not it. These are not it. These are C tier. I don't care what anyone says. C tier. This, I wanted to try these ones right here. Are these new? These gotta be new. I've never seen these before. These right here. These might be, these might be godlike. Hold on. Let me do the smell test. Let me do the smell test. Oh! <coughs> that thing just punched me in my nostril hairs. <laughs> These low-key let me down. Why do they taste like that? It's like in between a B and a C tier. C plus tier. It's a C plus tier. <laughs> Look what I got right here. Real ones know. The real ones know. Yeah. These are goaded. These are the best Doritos flavor there is. Some of you basic people are like, oh, Mike, have you ever had Cool Ranch? No, no one's. Who's eating Cool Ranch? That's just, that's just excellence right there. S tier, S tier, fight, let's fight about it. And then we got the nacho cheese. Pretty solid chip. Pretty solid chip. Solid, solid A tier, you know? This is one of the safest chips you could buy at the store. Okay, why do I feel like these might be godlike? Never had these before. Why I got them, I don't know. They just look kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. I feel violated. Why does it taste like, it tastes like a pickle. Throw these away. These are F tier, bro. These are F. Get these out of my sight. Next, we got Sun Chip French Onions. Um, I know there's, a, I know there's some diehard Sun Chip lovers. Let's see if, uh, let's see if the Sun Chip can come through. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. There's no situation where I would get these over anything else. Yeah, I get these like a C tier. These, if you like sun chips, you're kind of weird. All these trash chips are pissing me off. I got to pull out one of the goats. Literally the goat. With LeBron on the cover? Oh my God, LeBron. LeBron, you taste so good. Pause! That's an A plus. That's an A plus. Too. I can't give it S. I'll give it A plus though. We all know how ass these chips are. So not even going to introduce them. Yeah. Just how expected. This is literally just pure disappointment in a chip. I'll give it a D tier. I'll give it a D tier. This is one of the first chips I've seen that actually scare me. These are so hot, you can't even enjoy them. Ooh! The problem with these chips are the whole time you eat them, you're just sipping on water. You're just drinking gallons of water just to get through this bag, quite literally. So I'm gonna give this a C tier. Like, you gotta have these around. It's a classic. And it got, it got some flavor to it. Got some flavor to it. Hold on. Let's hit the Cool Ranch one time. If you're in a mood for them, they, they hit. Let me give this a solid B. Now we are down to the final chip. And before I reveal this chip, just please do not get your feelings hurt. This is gonna piss a lot of people off. I know. I know it is. But I just have to speak my truth. This is the greatest chip of all time, in my honest opinion. The greatest chip of all time is the lime hot cheeto i don't want to hear any arguing in the comment section this is the go i don't care what you got to say it doesn't get better than this it really doesn't <laughs> the perfect amount of spice with the little with the little lime a kick of lime s tier so now we just taking a walk outside you know 
I like doing this when I want to clear my head. We've been, been raging too much on Mortal Kombat, you know? Gotta come out here and just chill. Yeah, if I'm being honest, I don't do this. But, I mean, I don't know what else to do. see those videos where they go to random people and they're like what are you listening to what are you listening to yo dude with the bad hairline what are you listening to oh i'm listening to a sneaky snitch background music <laughs> yo bro with the ginormous forehead what are you listening to bro oh me oh i'm just listening to the vine boom sound effect Nah, but uh, it's just a nice beautiful day outside, you know, taking a stroll through the park. Some guy got stabbed and killed here uh, when I was in school, so that's why I really don't be out here. But um, we got a bench right here. Okay, let's go take a seat right here. So if you guys didn't know, me and the homie Ninja Killer collaborated on his YouTube channel. And let's just say, uh... I got clapped. Ninja Killer is the, one of the best players to ever play the game. Of course I'm gonna lose, right? But I'm looking in the comment section and everyone and their moms is literally making fun of me and cooking me for being bad at the game. Like, of course I'm gonna lose to Ninja. So let's just see some of these comments. First one I see. Yeah, I can't watch this. Dude is like a five-year-old whining. If you play Ninja Killer, you're gonna be, you're gonna act the exact same way as me. I promise you. These guys cook at me. He just says, it is Scorpion Mane. I guarantee you if I play him, I'm clapping his cheeks. Ho, oh, brother, ho, oh, whoa, whoa. There's no way this guy's better than me. There's no way. This guy just says, dude sucks, he has no technique. This dude says, I can't stand that dude, he's such a clown. Let's just go for a while. I'm getting mad looking at this. I think that's enough of the park for today. Look at the sunset, look at the sunset. And that was a day in the life of Mike Trulinski. I know I don't got the most extravagant, exciting life. I wasn't really sure what to do because usually I'm just sitting here at my desk playing games all day. And if we did want to go do something, like we can't bring in this huge camera into like any place. So I, I try to do the best I could do. Um, at least we spent time with each other, right? If you guys are wondering like what this is on my lip, I'm pretty sure I got bit by like a bug on my lip and, and it swelled up really badly and then it started like scabbing. I know it's disgusting. I'm sorry you got to look at it, but uh, hopefully it goes away in a few days. I don't know if I've said this yet, but thank you for 50,000 subscribers, technically like 63,000 subscribers, but thank you either way. None of this stuff would be possible without you guys. You are the reason why I'm here today. So thank you so much. All of the growth and success we've been having has been crazy it's just been going fast now i got something i could lose like back in the day when i didn't have subs and i was grinding i didn't have anything to lose really i've been getting i've been getting pretty bad anxiety when it comes to uh this youtube stuff this is what comes with youtube it's a lot of stress but it's not supposed to be easy so i'm trying to push past the anxiety and all that you know it's a battle for sure and i also want to say that thanks to you guys i'm able to support myself financially off of youtube i know money is not everything it truly is not everything but but when it comes to like proving to your parents that like this could be a real like sustainable job it's very important to be able to make something off of it money is not my main focus focus when it comes to youtube i know like that sounds like i know like half you guys thinking oh yeah mike that's cap that's cap but if you prioritize your content and your community first the money is gonna come eventually some youtubers like i'm not calling i'm not throwing shots at anybody i'm not calling out any names but their main priority sometimes could be what's gonna give me the most views and make me money and that could work in the short term but in the long term that's not sustainable because people could see through that if i really put my love and energy into this this could last a long time for us so that's gonna be my main priority it always has been and it always will be like my number one goal when it comes to youtube is you guys like me for me no matter what type of videos i post no matter what game i'm posting you guys will come through for me and a lot of you guys really do come through for me because you guys are messing with the horror game videos i've been posting the last one i posted has like 42,000 views which is good for non-mortal combat videos and i'm gonna post 
release another horror game video soon don't worry the outlast trials just came out so you know i'm playing that that game looks like a banger i just got a lot of stuff planned moving forward the future of the channel is looking bright it's looking very bright so i just want to say this before i leave i'm gonna say this in every milestone video that we have please bro whatever your dream is in this life chase that dream protect that dream don't let anybody say you can't do what you want to do if it's a positive dream and it's not negative and it's not harming anybody bro please pursue that because you don't want to be 60 80 years old and look back at your life and be like dang i could have did that i could have i could have chased my dreams but i didn't i don't want that for you truly i don't yeah it can be scary to chase your dreams or take that take that risk you just gotta do it if you really want your dream really want to do what you want to do you just gotta do it and i know you can do it bro i believe in you i believe in you if no one else believe in you i believe in you you got one life bro just don't let it pass you by stop saying every day oh i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it next week oh i can't do it because of this oh i can't do it because i don't have that just find a way don't make excuses please because if you keep making excuses you're never gonna get anything done all right all right that's enough motivational trilancy i'm gonna always say that in every every milestone video we have to chase your dreams because you guys are helping me do it right now so anyways thank you for 50,000 subscribers we're gonna keep climbing we're gonna keep growing this amazing community we got thank you guys for watching the video and i'll catch you in the next one